the direct selling industry is, adds hugely to economic activity. It uh, is a major driver of India's growth and that it provides the economic impetus to any more than anything else. And the key challenge for India is really about growth with jobs. So if you are not able to create jobs, then we'll be in deep problems. And therefore, jobs are very, very critical. And we need to grow at 9 to 10 percent per annum for three decades or more to be able to create jobs for a very young population. We are passing through a window of demographic transition, which rarely happens in history. Our population is very young. You know, the biggest social and economic transition that is taking place across the world is the fact that the population in Europe and America is getting older and older. The population in India is getting younger and younger, and it will keep getting younger till 2040. And therefore, if you have to reap this advantage, it can be a huge nightmare as well if you are not able to create jobs. So if you have to create jobs, there are only two ways. One is to push manufacturing in a very big way, and the other is to push direct selling. <laughs> yeah. So that many of you create jobs, you should also be able to do, you know, right now many of you don't uh, do manufacturing in India. Amway has started doing manufacturing in India, I know. So my compliments to... They have set up a big plant in South India. I have not seen it, but I have seen photographs of it, so I appreciate what Amway has done. But each one of the companies must start doing manufacturing in India. If you are going to sell, you know, while we have brought systems, we have brought discipline, we have brought guidelines, we have done this, we drafted this long time back. It took Ministry of Consumer Affairs some time, but they finally issued those guidelines. So there is now everybody in government accepts that there are Government of India guidelines clear guidelines, how you people are an integral part of now, that has given respectability. Earlier, you people were, you know, many states, Kerala, West Bengal, many of you were seen as people who were doing chit funds. You are not doing chit funds. You know, you are doing a very respectable profession. You are economic drivers of growth for India. So we respect that. And that has now been recognized. You, that has now been recognized that you are, government has by issuing these guidelines clearly recognized that you are major players of India's economy, that you significantly contribute to India's economy, that you are adding to India's growth and wealth, and that you are creating jobs. And therefore, getting out with these guidelines were very important. And these guidelines have now been given to different states to realize that you are important players in India's economy and every state will respect these guidelines because they have been issued by Government of India.